This hair. Look at how white his head got. He wants to, but she doesn't seem quite ready. <laughs>
came into our hearts and left our hearts pretty quick there. We found the culprit. I don't know if you can see it that well, but that branch. That branch was the difference between us killing that bird. And then, I mean, I tried to get a shot off. My first shot, I, I almost think I might have hit a branch too, but I can't seem to find it. Because my arrow, do you see how my arrow, like, yeah, it, it, it took, a nose took a nose dive. Like, and he was only, he was, at that point he was only at 12 or 13 yeah. by the time I shot the first time. And then I, I sent a Hail Mary at him at about 30, but by that point I was like freaking out, so. We got kind of screwed this morning. I'll step out of the blind and show you what ended up happening, so. We're hunting with Dane. We're on his property, which I'm very grateful to have the opportunity. Well, we were across the road, like 400 yards that way, easy, if not more. And uh, because the birds have been roosting over there. Well, about 10 minutes before shooting light, they started gobbling in this tree line across the road. So we split up, Dan stayed where we were gonna go, and then me and my dad booked it over here. Well, by the time we got to where we came across onto this part of the property, it was already shooting light. We could see the birds in the tree, and so we resorted to, we found this little fallen tree right here, and uh, we stuck ourselves in it. Honestly, it worked really well. As you saw, we had how many hens do you have with him? Eight? Eight or nine? He had somewhere between seven and ten hens with him, and I mean, our decoys are eight yards from where we were set up, because when I went to put them out, I could still see birds in the trees, so I couldn't get it very far out, but... Did you, did you find my branch? Or yours? Where'd it go? It's right here, and it's exactly in line with uh, with my shot. Yeah. And I just could not. I, I apparently couldn't see it. Oh well. Yeah. It happens. No. No. Not to me. Damn it. <laughs> well, that's the way it goes, I guess. So. We're gonna grab our stuff, head back to the truck. Those birds literally had no idea what happened. We're planning on hunting tomorrow too, at least a couple of us, so. We're gonna grab our stuff, head back to the truck, tell Dane her misfortunes, and that's the way she goes. It happens. What happened? Eight yards. You missed? I did. He had a branch. So we got in here. We came in right here. And we. So they were. If you look through the trees, they were in that big ass oak over there. Yeah. I mean, even by the time we got over here, there's still 10 of them up there. Mm -hmm. So we snuck through here, got to the other side of this. And I just stuck the decoys out. We found a little fallen tree. A perfect little hole, honestly. Um, we sat in it and two toms and like I think there's eight or nine hens came out of the tree line strutted down in the bottom by the tree line for a while one tom flew across the creek started strutting on the opposite hillside and then uh, the hens kept going in and out of the tree line in and out of the tree line and then finally I got the attention of one of them and she oh, she was mad she was f***ed I could hear him freak like when, when you, you shot, that, is that when they all freaked out? No, oh, that no. massive gobble fuss this morning. That so that like happened? that, I must. They must have just gotten down, and the hens I, were even going. Uh, out. I hit them. I hit them one or two times with a hen call, and they just started gobbling. And then I just just kept going and going and going. 